So, one 1.9 meter solar panel temporarily <laughs> raised on top of my roof. <laughs> this is stupidly big. But the ampage output into the batteries has gone from 1.6 amps to 8 amps just by raising it up here. Um, and that was sort of midday today. It's a significant difference. This panel is way too big and I'm not entirely convinced that I will actually use it. But the advantage with using Unistrut is I can pretty much put anything I like on here. I haven't done anything stupid like gluing them down or using silly little cheap plastic brackets. I've used a mechanism that's versatile and lets me do whatever I need to do to play. Now I might put this panel sideways, um, but it is a big sod. It's heavy. Um, and uh, I'm inclined to think that I'll probably get a couple of smaller panels and mount them in the frame. And you can see there I've used um, uh, gate latches basically, sprung gate latches. And they latch into those holes that these bolts are currently in for the stays. Five minutes to put it up, even less than that. Um, dead simple, because obviously my roof is um, fully um, clambronable. Um, that white thing there is where the original orange beacon used to be. But uh, there you go. The experiment works. It's exactly what I expected to happen. Um, I've got the panel, oh, I don't know, what's that? 55 degrees maybe, 60 degrees maybe. It's about the right angle for this time of year where I'm based, at 51 degrees, whatever it is, north. But there you go. Worthwhile experiment. Will I use it regularly? Maybe not. Will I keep this panel? Not sure, because I think it's nearly 30 kilograms in weight. Is the idea sound? Absolutely as long as you've got a mechanism to either raise it or get up on the roof and raise it. But there you go, that's currently level, in fact it's higher than me. <laughs> that's how big this damn thing is. And there's one of the clamps, dead easy. I uh, couldn't buy any that had a centre bolt fits in, so I had to actually um, mount these only on one side. And I've also used very thick reinforcing plates as washers. These are actually one of the, some of the plates from underneath um, thistle that were used to hold the unwinds track down. Um, otherwise it wouldn't clamp up square or properly because um, there's a, an air gap between the metal of the um, latch and the unwinds, uh, the, sorry, the uni strut nut. And that would potentially would distort enough that you wouldn't get a good fix in. So, dirty great reinforcement plate solves that problem. 10 mil hole, nine and a half mil shaft. Um, I had to file this one out a little bit because I've got the hole slightly in the wrong place. Other one spot on at that end. Um, and I haven't yet put a couple of um, L-shaped brackets there on the other side just to position this so it can't move. There's, you can see there's a slight um, space in there. That's to allow the pin. This is nice and tight, by the way. Come on. When the pin, when the pin is latched back, you've got to have a little bit of clearance, obviously. That's about an eighth of an inch. Um, but that's as far as the pin goes back. So I'm going to um, have to put something up there and on the other side just to prevent any front to back movement under heavy braking. Um, that's the only thing that's really occurred to me. I can't put a spacer in there. Um, can I? Yeah, I could put a spacer there, I suppose, um, to take up this slack, but I'd have to put it on um, and juggle it about a bit. Oops, focus. I'll give it a bit of thought, but I think I'm going to be more comfortable if I put a couple of um, brackets down the end there. I think that will be a much more solid way of preventing any lateral movement. But it's all an experiment, and as I said earlier on, not entirely sure I'm even going to use this solar panel because it's just too big and heavy. I think it would have far too much of a wind sail effect when it was up, although today's been a bit blowy, but it's worked fine. I'm very impressed with the difference in output. The bracket at the top is a standard 35mm solar panel clamp which I've used extensively with the Unistrut 
on the roofs of my van. This clamps the panel down properly, it won't escape. It certainly won't fly off the back and cause any injury to anyone. And the two at the bottom are the ones I've just modified, and these are going to act as stops effectively for the centre uh, length of uni strut uh, to prevent the panel I've now got on hinge from being able to move forward and backwards during normal braking. Um, probably not 100% necessary, but because as I've shown in the previous video, there is a slight gap due to the nature of the latches I'm using. I just want to prevent that gap from being either prevent the panel from moving into that gap or prevent the panel moving to the point where the latches actually jam, which is always a possibility. Um, they'd have to bend the hinges to do so, but maybe in really, really sharp braking, there's a lot of weight in that panel, so these stops would just prevent that. <laughs> 